Hi, you are now watching How To A YouTube Channel. My name is Arkady Chumikov. Today I'm going to show you top 5 new features in Adobe After Effects version 15.0 build 180. This is a new splash screen by Mitch Myers and Jorge Canedo. Let's take a look at new Easter egg. I'll go ahead and alter click about menu. Some sort of Star Wars open titles with developers list. Note that on creating project you will see two menus, create new comp and create new comp from footage. The UI font has changed. Now all menus use Adobe Clean Font. System requirement are MS Windows 7 SP, Windows 8.1 or Mac OS El Capitan, Sierra, Windows 8 and 10 versions 1507 are no longer supported as well as Yosemite. Data Driven Animation Brand new feature Data Driven Animation presented. What it does is create animation using external JavaScript file JSON. It can be all types of data like telemetry or smart clock data, weather forecast and so on. Let's take a look at the project using data driven animation. This is a forecast project and now you can change all the text layers by simply changing one file. I'll go ahead and twirl down expression menu to check which one is actually used. Seattle JSON was used and with that file selected I just hit Ctrl plus H and replace it with the Shanghai file. As you see all data has changed on the fly. All you need to create that kind of projects is special JSON file. Immersive video. As you may hear Adobe acquired Metal. This is a plugin developer. And now you can actually use that plugin right inside After Effects. Open Composition menu and create VR environment. I am importing new footage and Metal Plugin menu pops up. There is no title now but it's definitely Metal Plugin menu. Here you go. Now we got VR composition and ready to go. You can also double click and check Cube inside. If you are familiar with VR you got the idea. I have 360 degrees video and I will go ahead and import that into my project. By clicking extract cube map I got my camera. Let's rotate scene to look around. I have all 3D possibilities to create titles animations infographics and other stuff inside that VR environment. You got the idea. Any 2D object can be implemented in VR by simple switching layer to 3D mode. Expressions for vertices. If you are aged veteran of After Effects you probably wait for that feature for a long time. In old days we used third party scripts to achieve that goal. Now you finally can animate masks or shapes vertices with no extra plugins. Draw a shape triangle and find path in the layers menu. Now go to window, create nulls from paths script. You got three options. First option. You create nulls that follows vertices and now that null position lines to vertex position property. I'll undo that. Second option will do the opposite. Now vertex is following null and I can't adjust null's position since it has expression. Third option trace path. I'll draw a path with my pen tool and with path selected click trace path. I got no following drawn line. It is actually effect with loop trace path slider. GPU acceleration. After Effects CC 2018 provides GPU acceleration for composition motion blur. 
For instance I got the nice blue ball and if I switch motion blur on balls layer you will notice it doesn't slows down as it was in previous versions of After Effects. There are still some limitations. You won't get GPU motion blur literally everywhere, but you may see obvious progress. Since After Effects is pretty much old application its core must be rewritten and it's not a simple thing. Layer transformations such as position, opacity, transform effect, directional blur and immersive video effects are now GPU accelerated as well. Custom Shortcuts and Type Kit Old fashioned keyboard shortcuts customization via editing properties file is now part of history. Say hello to brand new visual keyboard where you can set things up as you like. Note that not all keys are changeable. Since these shortcuts are reserved by application you can't change them. Character panel has some great improvements such illustrator style type kit font menu. You instantly got visual reference and pick font you want without tedious tapping up and down arrows. If After Effects CC 2018 you have access to type kit font library. This is a website actually and as a Creative Cloud subscriber you got 100 prepaid fonts depending on your subscription plan. You can add your favorite font and bookmarks right inside type kit menu. So that's top 5 new features in After Effects CC 2018. Are you disagreeing with my list? Write in the comments your favorite one. Subscribe my channel to get new videos. Not all of them will be in English but definitely there will be some useful stuff. Do X16 overview for example. Stay tuned.